Patient First programme is a programme that staff attend so that they can get an understanding of what it's like to be a patient, see things through the patient's eyes, walk through the patient's shoes and then make action plans about how they can improve the patient experience. Putting the patient first is so important because it's our number one value and if staff don't understand what it's like to be a patient then it's very difficult for them to give the patients the experience they need. That's why today one of our staff is in an age simulation suit to try and really understand what it's like to be an older person. Thanks Sue for volunteering. Um, we're going to pop the suit on now so you can get an idea of what it's like um, to be an older adult. Alright, we're going to start with the leg brace. And this is going to very much feel like um, your joints are quite stiff. So this is going to give us an idea of how difficult it is to move around. Okay? Already very limited movement. Yeah. So we're going to pop these on your ankles. Depending on if you've got any orthopaedic conditions, then a lot of muscle atrophy can occur. And so these weights on the ankles and the wrists are going to give us that effect. This is a big bit. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. So if, if an individual has osteoporosis, that can mean that um, they're very prone to fractures and that gives us this hunched over feeling. Now we're going to pop these gloves on, so we might have a bit of sensory deficit. If a patient has rheumatoid arthritis, then they're going to find dexterity of their hands reduces quite significantly. So we'll pop some weights on, on your wrists as well. I'm naturally now stooping forward and my legs feel very heavy. Um, I'm going to give you that stick before I pop the goggles on. Okay. <laughs> a lot of our patients also suffer from glaucoma um, and other issues with sight uh, as they get older. So we're going to pop these goggles on as well. Super. How's that? You're all set for your walk around the hospital. Have we got all day? <laughs> I think we're going to need it. <laughs> yes. It's quite steep, isn't it? I can't see at all now. I'm completely relying on you, Tony. No Thank you. At all. Yeah. So I'm going to give you your um, pre-assessment letter now and see where we have to go. All right. That's quite small print. Can you see where we're heading? To the pre-assessment clinic. Off we go then. OK, so we've got a door coming up now. OK. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. How did you find that? <laughs> That's quite, that door's very heavy, isn't yeah. it? Very heavy. I've always thought they were quite light as well, so it just shows uh, once you're in that suit that, uh, yeah, a lot of things are a lot heavier than you think they're going to be. I didn't see the door until it was very close to me. Gosh, that's even heavier. You're still there? I am, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go up some stairs now. I can't see the stairs at all. I'm just feeling my way. Okay, Susan, um, would you like to get back into bed now? Yes, please. Yeah. All right, brilliant. One, two, three. Would you like to have a go with the bed control? <laughs> I'll bring it out for you, it's there, all right? I brought you some water. Thank you. All right. Give me a shout if you need anything. OK. It's really quite heavy. We fill them up. Maybe we should only fill them half full. That's taken a lot of effort to drink that small sip and I can't bend my elbows and so it's really difficult to try and pick up the cup and the jug is really heavy. I've been given the opportunity today to try on the age simulation suit and it's really had quite a profound effect on me today. I've looked after older people for the last 12 years and I'm very passionate about the job that I do. However, it's opened my eyes and I've looked at it very differently today. So as a leader, I'm going to maybe go out there and, and look at the practices and look at how we work because what we want to achieve is to benefit our patients 
and actually give them a much better experience while in hospital. Patient first is only the start of the journey. After staff have made their action plans, we're looking for them to make an individual pledge. If we have four and a half thousand people changing one thing, then we will make a massive difference to patient experience.